playing the didgeridoo, there are a lot of things that are going on for the musician that's playing the instrument. The, all the sounds that a didgeridoo can make are coming from the body. And most people I have encountered who try to play the didgeridoo, they begin to think about what they're doing rather than feeling what they're doing. So what I would like to express to you is a, a method for learning how to play the didgeridoo that does not require thinking, it simply requires practice. And what we do with this is that we um, treat it more like a, a play. You know, we're, we're in the sandbox and you simply want to feel the way the body is playing the instrument. Since the didgeridoo and circular breath requires movement of air through the body, then we obviously would need to look at how we breathe and the muscles that are involved with breathing, such as the abdomen, the back, your lower back, the way you sit, your posture, a straight spine, are the shoulders rolled back and down, or are they hunched over like this? And some of these are very important to, to consider. You can still play the didgeridoo and circular breathe with bad posture and without ever paying attention to what your body is doing when you play the didge. However, when you feel the musculature with, from within, you're going to be able to relax the diaphragm and begin to control the body a little bit more so that you can have masterful control over the breathing and the sounds and the rhythms and the tones and everything that you can express with the didgeridoo. Now there's a lot of different ways to make sounds with the didge. The first is, of course, the simple buzzing of the lips, that's the drone. And then when you can circular breathe, you begin to change the, the rhythm based on the breathing. And then you can add vocalizations. And there's also overtones where you buzz your lips and you make a tooting sound. I'm just not so good with that one, so I won't demonstrate it. And the other thing is the tongue placements within the mouth. You want to, if the tongue's closer to the front or towards the back, or how you roll the tongue is going to give you different types of sound. Which, I don't know if you can really hear that so well with this little PVC didge. The, my microphone does not like my big didge. So, and then the uh, the other thing that you would want to consider is you can when you play, actually tapping the didgeridoo and making sounds with your hands or other things from the instrument. The combination of all these elements together is what creates a didgeridoo song. So your breathing, your drone, your embouchure. Make sure that the cheeks are in or out. The placement of your tongue and your posture, all these things will affect how the didgeridoo sounds when you play it. So in order to really get good at this, pay attention to all of these little subtle details and experiment.